I'm ready. <laughs> what up? Let's get to it. So, oh man, it's some more Cam Akers. Some more Cam Akers talk comes back into play, huh? <laughs> Heavy, dog. Yeah, what we really talking about here, huh? What are we really talking about here, dog? Now, I made a previous video before because this is nothing new. This is no new information. You know, rumors were, speculations were, you hear me, that the Minnesota Vikings were planning to bring Cam Akers back, baby. And like I said in the video, make sure you go check it out. They must believe in him. They must think that something is still there. He still has a lot to give. And like I say, two Achilles injuries, dog, whew, especially at the running back position, any position, you know, let alone. <laughs> That's very tough to recover from, dog, to bounce back from. You hear me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure Cam Akers has put the work in. I'm sure he's done his due diligence to do everything he can do, dog, to get back on that field. You got to respect him for that. You hear me? But you wonder where his mental is at, homie. Does he believe in himself? Does he feel he can go out and play at a high level? The talent is there, and I'm going to get into some film and some plays later. The talent is there, though. We saw that last season. I'm also going to show the run, the touchdown run he had against the Packers, though. You hear me? So we saw that last season, man. Hand the man down. But Cam Akers, ability, skill, like I said, if he's healthy, if he can play, he can stay in his zone, and he can really put in valuable time, it could be a position battle for real. There's no guarantee that Aaron Jones will just come and just take that or have that number one spot given to him though i'm sure i'm sure he will have to earn it you hear hands down man down dog. <laughs> so don't just assume aaron jones is the number one running back it's some competition in that room heavy you got ty chandler dog you got cam Akers. you can't you can't forget about kane kane and wangu kane and wangu huh heavy dog. <laughs> so it's competition across the board <laughs> i'm not saying it's a bad thing you know <laughs> good conundrum to have, huh? But at the end of the day, Cam Akers, dog, it's going to be all on him. If he's healthy, he's in. If he's healthy, he's in, dog. I'm going to get into the article real quick. But at the end of the day, if he passes his physical, because I understand that he has to pass the physical full examination, which is very understandable. You know, smart move by the Vikings, <laughs> thinking on their toes, because you can't forget the business. You can't forget the NFL is a business. You hear me? Hands down, man down. So they got to take the necessary steps, <laughs> cross their dots, cro cross their T's, dot their I's, right? You hear me? Yeah. Heavy, duh. Dot their I's, cross the T's, all that, man. <laughs> That's just what it is, homie. <laughs> they have to make sure he's capable of playing, man. You hear me? They got to look at him, interview him. Well, I ain't going to say interview him, but talk to him, you know, look in his eyes. Does he really believe in himself? How was he feeling? Where is he at mentally, dog? Or did he just want to check? Or did he just want to check, homie? <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> no disrespect to Cam Akers, like I say. <laughs> his talent, and he's still young. What, he's 26, 27, you hear me? You know? Yeah, so he's still, got a, he's still got a lot to give to the game, to the position, even though the running back position has a very short lifespan in the NFL. But you know what he signed up for, dog. You hear me? <laughs> I'm sure he's ready for it. I'm sure he's probably, you know, I mean, he understands how major an Achilles injury is. But you think he's going to sit and dwell on that? Think about it. Cry about it. What can he do? He got to shake back. He got to bounce back. Put his best foot forward and whatever it be, be, dog. Heavy, you hear me? <laughs> but as long as he put his best foot forward, dog, put the work in to try to continue to get better, get healthy, huh? Then, yeah, he can't blame himself, dog. <laughs> football is a grueling sport, you know? Sometimes things happen, not only on the football field, you hear me, in life. Every aspect of life, dog. <laughs> it's not only, it's much bigger than football, dog, but this situation, we're talking about Cam makers, dog, but... He has to be mentally strong. You hear me? Even if he come back feeling a little rusty, stiff, et cetera, keep the confidence, dog. Keep the belief. You hear me? <laughs> but like I say, the skill is there. Let's get into the article, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Minnesota Vikings offense is mostly the same as the 2023 unit. Facts. 
The big difference is a quarterback with Sam Darnold and J.J. McCarthy <laughs> being the replacements for Kirk Cousins. Could they end up bringing back another player from that team? Well, first off, kind of a correction because we talk about new faces. You have two new quarterbacks, so they, those are major, you know, two new faces. Though. You know, that's that's not just something to take lightly. You hear me? You got a brand new quarterback, Sam Darnold. Yeah, he's a veteran, but really a rookie veteran. You hear me? <laughs> J.J. McCarthy, straight up rookie, dog. Straight up rookie, dog. Hands down, man down. So your quarterback, your quarterback position alone puts you in different predicaments, dog. <laughs> you know, could be positive, could be negative. You hear me? But it puts you in different predicaments, especially when the season hits, <laughs> especially in pressure games, <laughs> maybe a playoff game, everything, all the stakes on the line. Dog. So, yes, dog, it's definitely a major change, period, dog. A real transition, dog. Heavy. No way around it. It's going to take some adaptation, some time to get used to, dog. KOC, getting used to Darnold, learning Darnold, learning McCarthy. You think this is just something that happens overnight? <laughs> now, you can work on it overnight. You know, you can feel the energy, feel the bond, feel the culture, the vibe. You hear me? The chemistry, <laughs> the brotherhood, the family. Y'all, that is cool. But it, if we're being realistic, it takes time, homie. It's, it takes time, homie. It's the process, dog. You know, KOC, learning and understanding his players, dog. You know, <laughs> heavy, dog. You know, learning learning different nuances of the game. You hear me? The game always changes. The NFL game is always constantly changing in, in to a certain extent because at the end of the day, you still need trenches. The, you know what I'm saying? You need the big boys up front, dog. You don't have them, you have no chance. You hear me? <laughs> now you can look pretty all season, look good, but when crunch time comes, playoff time comes, like we've seen with the Miami Dolphins, all that flash fly, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool, man. But at the end of the day, man, you need them big boys up front, Jack. <laughs> you need them meats up front, Jack, like Arby's, man. Huh, man? <laughs> Even though Arby's meat is some bullshit, man. <laughs> but you need the meats like Arby's, man, up front, dog. <laughs> so the game is changing, man. But at the end of the day, at the same time, we know what it takes to win. We know what it takes to win the Super Bowl, man. Big boy is up front, man. Right now, you got Corsons on your old line, Vikings. That boy Bradbury, he a jive turkey, man. A jive certified turkey, man. Get him some yams. Get him some yams, man. The boy's sweet. The boy's sweet. Get him some yams, huh? <laughs> Ain't it Ingram, man? Come on, man. You can't even move your feet, man. You big oofa loofa, man. Move your feet, man. How many times you step on Kirk Cousins' foot, man? Come on, man. Blake Brandell. Blake Brandell, who is he, man? Who is this Blake Brandell, man? Smooth criminal, Jack. Smooth criminal, Jack. <laughs> Give me some, man. Come on, man. Slide with me, man. All he good for is showing up for the cheeseburger buffet, bro. The cheeseburger buffet. You dig, Jack? You dig? <laughs> Come on, bro. Heavy, homie. So we know what's up, man. <laughs> Shout out KOC and Sam Darnold McCarthy, though, man. Heavy, man. Shout out to the old line, too. I hope they perform well, though. Heavy. Rumors started swirling that the Vikings were going to re-sign running back Cam Makers after he passed the physical. <laughs> that physical, that physical, very important. Score North Darren Wolfson was the first person to report that fact, and it makes sense to bring him back to compete for a roster spot. It makes a lot of sense, homie. Like I've been saying, it makes a lot of sense if he's healthy. You hear me? <laughs> if he's healthy, it makes a lot of sense, dog. Heavy. Hands down, man down. With his recovery close to, if not fully complete, those discussions will likely ramp up. In fact, ESPN has it on their transactions page that the Vikings have re-signed him with a physical pending. The interesting part of this whole thing is that NFL's transaction wire doesn't have the transaction listed. So which is it? Based on the information we have, he is not a member of the Vikings, but that doesn't mean he won't be that he won't be. <laughs> Akers has a lot of history with head coach Kevin O'Connell and offensive coordinator Wes Phillips, having worked with them for two seasons in Los Angeles with the Rams and last season with the Vikings. Huh? <laughs> you hear me? So, yes, it's history, dog. So we don't care about how about he ain't on the roster. huh? <laughs> 
We ain't worried about how he on the roster, not on the roster. He's in the building, huh? If he wants to be in the building, if everything goes correctly, the physical pans out, he's ready to play ball. He's going to be in the building. <laughs> you hear me? So let's not act like, oh, he's technically, technically not on the team, not on the roster. He will sign up and the Vikings will sign him. You know, he's going nowhere, homie. So let's not make it dramatic. And like we all know, why wouldn't he? He would love to play with the Vikings. Had a solid season last year. He knows Kevin O'Connell. He knows Wes Phillips. He's won with them. You hear me? Experience winning at the highest level. So, yes, Minnesota is the best place for him, dog. That would be his ideal situation. You hear me? At least I would assume so. You know, running back, knows the offense, knows the scheme, knows the coach very well. The offensive coordinator very well. That's why he want to go anywhere else, dog. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> you hear me? They obviously respect him, reached out to him. They want him in the building. <laughs> so what the problem is, get it done, period. But it's all going to rely on that physical, homie. It's all about that physical. Can he run? Can he move? Can he contribute in any way? Or will he Will he just be a sitting duck, huh? <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> Man, let's get it in. <laughs> and let's not forget, crazy um, KOC knows that he still had had it running back room. As far as depth chart, you know, you still got Kane and Wangu, <laughs> speed guy, speed guy. I'm surprised he hasn't contributed more in the run game. But let's not forget, so they have options, dog. So this isn't an absolute necessary ne uh, necessity for the Vikings. You know, <laughs> everything is not on the line if they don't re-sign Cam. They're not forced in any way to re-sign Cam. You hear me? Oh, let's not get it misconstrued, huh? You know, we must we must reiterate that they don't need Cam makers. I'm sure they want him, but technically they don't need him, though. Heavy if we want to talk about personnel, etc. Now, would I want him in the building? <laughs> Hell yeah. Do I think he brings more to the table than Kane and Wangu? Hell yeah. <laughs> now time will tell. You no know, injuries. Can he stay healthy? All that. But I think he's overall better running back, much better running back than Kane and Wangu. No disrespect to uh, Kane and Wangu, dog. But at the end of the day. All he's shown to really be is a special teams threat here and there, you know, on rare occasions. And sometimes he can get you maybe an outside sweep for about five, six yards. Heavy, dog. Once again, no disrespect. I want to see more of him. <laughs> but it's a running back battle, dog. Heavy. Ultimately, wait until the NFL or the team announces the move. It's the one way to confirm its accuracy. Is that it? That's it? Okay, it is what it is. Like I say, man, yes, you know, this is nothing new. Like, this has been expected, right? This this all has been expected, you hear me? This is nothing new, dog. Heavy, homie. <laughs> yeah. Everyone expected this. Really much, pretty much saw this coming. The 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 the, the biggest course then was that Achilles tear, physical, can he pass a physical, this and that, etc. That's that's all it was, homie. That was the biggest question right there, period. Hands down, man down. Can he pass the physical? Now he gets his physical, gets examined. We'll see the Vikings go from there. But it's evident they want him. What? <laughs> yeah, it's evident they want him, dog. Heavy, period. Like you are delusional. if You can't see that or understand that. You know? <laughs> That's why they're reaching out to the man. That's why it's talks. So hopefully they can play fair ball, come up with a fair deal. But Cam makers definitely a special talent. Oh, matter of fact, <laughs> get back to the film. What I'm doing, let's get to the film. I just want to show you know a little little bit of the highlights, dog. You hear me? Nothing crazy. Should show some of his uh his old film and new film for the Vikes. That's it. You hear me? But just but, but just to show you what he brings to the table, if he can bring anything, if he still has it, right? Now I know you say Achilles tear. Achilles tear is tough. It's tough, of course, dog. But it's not impossible. <laughs> we saw AP do it. You hear me? Towards ACL and MCL, dog. Now, I know Cam Akers is an AP, <laughs> but can he recoup? We'll see, dog. Give me one second. Hold on. Close caption. Hail to the knob, bro. They're trying to get things going. Sean McVay challenged him during the course of the week. Didn't get a yard in positive yardage. You, know, you just see some of his runs. I, mean, I want why they showed that one. Backfield, definitely a backfield threat. Nice route. You know, that was a great route, a great route by a running back to me. I think even if a even if a linebacker were to be on him right in coverage, 
think he would have definitely made the catch. You got to just check routes, man. You know, just smooth with it. I don't, I don't know how Alexander Madison was in front of this guy. But look, out the backfield, up. Boom, nice route, smooth, get up the field. That's what he brings, man. Like, he's such a weapon. We talk about a weapon. You can really debate who's better off the backfield, you know, as far as him and Aaron Jones. Nice cut, nice shiftiness. The shiftiness is there. Like, we know he's shifty. Even last year, he was the most shiftiest in the backfield for the Vikings, huh? <laughs> yes, that, I think he's even more shiftier than uh, Ty Chandler. You really can compare him and Cook in their prime? Who's more shiftier? Now, I'm, I'm not talking about just moves, but you know how Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook could just glide sometimes, you know, <laughs> just shift his feet midair, homie. It's like something you can't coach, you hear me? <laughs> you either got it or don't, right? Dalvin Cook just glide, man. <laughs> Almost like he's walking on the air, you hear me? Just That's that's just shiftiness, dog. He can shift in and out, man. Ken Makers has that, you hear me? You know, <laughs> now he knows how to get small, squeeze through the holes, through the gaps. You know, if he and I'm not saying he's gonna be in his prime and you know be top 100. percent Like I said, Achilles is tough. Achilles tear is tough. But can you give anything? You know, he if he can give anything, though, you know, give anything at a high level for a certain amount of times. Now you probably don't want him, you know, 20 carries a game. Nah, you know, give him. Eight a pop, 10 a game here and there, come up, relieve players when they're tired, but still can be explosive, still can be the player, you know, his semi self, dog. Personally, me, I think he's going to bounce back. I think he'll be all right. I think he can get back to his elite ability. <laughs> and if that's the case, he's going to be troubled, dog. <laughs> Heavy. The Vikings can have a mean run game, a mean run game, homie. Physical, aggressive, also flashy, fast, speed, huh? Take it to the house, but also bang you up, beat you up on the goal line, beat you up in the trenches, huh? That's what it's about, dog. I'm telling you. Man. But you just see his shiftiness, his explosiveness, dog. Smooth. You know, he's he's a patient back, too. He knows when to be patient, huh? huh? Cut in there. When to, when to turn it up, when to wait, give it a second, explode, bam. You hear me? <laughs> That's my point. That's my point, homie. Here we go. Turn up, bam, nice move off there. Oh, smooth, shifty, bang, get out of here. You dig me? You hear me? He can be anything close to that. Anything close to that, dog. It's a win for the Vikings. You bring him back. You bring him back. The physical will tell, oh, what a great run. Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> Get off me. We've seen him have similar runs last season, so it's not over for the dude. It's not over for the dude. You hear me? <laughs> it's a real deal situation. He could come ball. <laughs> Heavy, dog. No way around it, huh? <laughs> People better wake up. People better wake up, dog. Heavy, huh? Now let's get into this Green Bay run, homie. <laughs> Let me show you this Green Bay run, man. Strong run. Real strong run, dog. I love this shit, huh? Oh, it's eight ah, here. the goal line. He's in. Hello. Touchdown. First rushing team. Here. Here. Second and goal. Ah, give me that. Hurry, boy. Go, dog. Touchdown. First rushing. You know? After this game, I felt like he should have been a starter, even after the Niners game, dog. But for some reason, KOC, KOC loves to be favoritism to these guys. You know, a flaw of KOCs. Hopefully he learned from it, dog. What a great run, though. I mean, that's what he brings, homie. You hear me? That's what he brings, man. Heavy. Definitely want him in the building, dog. You definitely bring Cam Akers back in the building, homie. You hear me? <laughs> Hands down, man down, dog. But let me know how you feel about it, man. You agree or disagree? Would you like to see Cam Akers back as a Vikings fan? Do you think it makes sense? Let me know, dog. Fire them comments up. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell. Big score here, baby. Score Vikes forever. Huh? Win, lose, or draw, man. Rest in peace, Kyrie Jackson. Rest in peace, big dog. Heavy. Score Vikes.